Hamlet for free. Hi guys, it's Steph and I am heading to London again. So as I was going through my Facebook timeline, I managed to see some free tickets for a performance of Hamlet. So I thought I would grab those, I would grab a friend and head to London. It's quite embarrassing. I am still absolutely 100% useless when it comes to vlogging. Hamlet was absolutely incredible. Andrew Scott is just like some kind of god when it comes to performing. This is the third time that I've actually seen him live. So I saw him do Birdland, I saw him do Seawall, and finally I have seen him do Hamlet. So it was done in quite a small theatre, only about 350 seats, so it was really, really intimate and the way that they had this stage set up so that you could have different entrances and exits comparing to where they were going was just fantastic. It has been a while since I studied Shakespeare or even looked at Hamlet so I was a little bit worried going into it that it might be difficult to follow but this was not the case at all. It's kind of similar like going to an opera where you don't understand the words. You can still feel the emotion even if you don't understand the words. Now Shakespeare is the same, though not really, because yes it's in English but it's in a different kind of English. So even if you don't get all the words in a sentence, you still know what's going on. The actors in this play were brilliant, so even if you didn't understand a word of it, you could tell what they were trying to portray just in their face alone. Hamlet is a tale of madness and revenge, and Andrew Scott manages to pull both off incredibly. Also, this performance was captioned, so we had the words of the play on screens above the actors. And I don't know if it was a distraction for other people, but it certainly was a help to me. The play was four hours long, split into three parts, and it didn't feel that long at all. Yes, the first act dragged ever so slightly, but it was the longest act, coming in at an hour and a half. It didn't help that the theatre seats weren't the most comfortable in the world. But after the first act, the other two just seemed to fly by as we got dragged into the action, going up to the conclusion. So, as it turns out, I don't know how to review plays at all, especially Shakespearean ones. But what I did manage to do was sit down with the friend that I took with me and we just dissected the whole play and it was just incredible to be able to talk to someone about it immediately afterwards. This play is actually moving theatre soon, moving to a bigger venue, a better venue, which I'm really, really happy about because it was incredible and it was on such a limited run. And I'm so glad that it's done so well that they're managing to move it to another venue. And I would really suggest that if you can go see this, that you should go see this. Yes, the tickets are a little bit more expensive now, but it is well worth that price. I honestly can't believe my luck that I managed to get those tickets for free because it was outstanding. But that is really all I have to say right now, other than stay nerdy.